you know you've seen it. <laughs> Hell, some of us have even been there. But today I'm going to show you how to fill in your eyebrows and not make these mistakes. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today and welcome to my first official makeup tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you how to get natural looking eyebrows using different products available depending on what method you prefer to use. Now keep in mind, there's no right way or wrong way to do this. I'm just going to share with you how I learned how to figure out the best shape for my brows based on my face shape, as well as how I filled them in to achieve a natural looking brow that lasts all day. So if you're interested in learning how I got this look, then stay tuned and keep watching. As you can see, I'm starting off with my natural brow. Here you can see the shape of my eyebrow. I do have a small arch, but you can see that on the tail end, the hair's a little sparse and it just doesn't look very clean or neat. I personally do not go to a salon to get my eyebrows done because I've had some really bad experiences with that. I've had my eyebrows over plucked. I've had hair missing in places that it shouldn't. I've had skin pulled off from wax. I've tried threading and I honestly just don't care for it. So I just decided that I would pluck them myself to keep them maintained and then because I know how to fill them in and how to shape them with concealer, it doesn't have to look perfect when I don't have anything on. I'll show you the different options for what you can use to fill in your brows and then I'll show you the difference filling in my brows with each option so you can make a decision based on which you like the best. I personally like using a pencil because I can get hair-like strokes because the tip of the pencil is so small and it's also really fast for me to be able to draw to outline my brows and make that look really clean and then just fill them in real quick. We'll start off talking about powder. Now I don't have a brow powder specific eyebrow product but you can use any brown eyeshadow that matches the undertone and the color that you like. I'm going to start using this NARS eyeshadow palette. And as you can see, there are some cool tone browns in this palette that can be used for your eyebrows. So I'm gonna do that. I'm also going to use a pencil, like I said, to show you another option. There are different price ranges on these products. You can buy them at CVS, Walgreens, Target, Walmart, there's different brands. So you'll be able to find something that fits your budget. Today, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Brow Wiz and the top is off of this one to show you how small the tip of it is to be able to get those hair-like strokes. The other option is also a pomade. Now a pomade is more like a gel and it has more staying power than the other two options. So if you're looking for something that's gonna last longer, especially if it's hot or you have oily skin, this is a great option. Here it is, it looks like a gel. This one in my hand is by Maybelline, which you can find at a drugstore. I personally use the pomade whenever I want a more defined brow, usually if I'm doing a full glam look and everything else is just gonna be snatched and I want my brows to be on point. So I'll start off with the powder, I'll do one eyebrow, and then I'll come back on camera and show you how I achieve the look. And here you have it. My eyebrow is done, and all I used was the two powders that I showed you in the NARS palette. So right now, I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did on my left eyebrow, on the right, in real time with you, for you to see how easy it is. I have this double-sided brush. This side is what I use to fill my brows in. This side is what I use to shape them and comb it and make sure that all the hairs are in place. You want to start off by combing your hairs up. I do this so that I can draw in the definition at the bottom for how I want the shape of them. And then I come back and I start filling in and then I shape the top to achieve my arch. Now here's one rule of thumb that is really going to help you when you're trying to figure out the shape for your eyebrows. When you are measuring for your eyebrows, you want to start in the front and you measure from the bridge of your nose up. This is where you want your eyebrow to start. 
You don't want it to start too far in the middle because then it'll look like you have a unibrow and you don't want it to start too far outside because then it'll make your forehead look bigger. It'll make your nose look wider and it's just, it isn't symmetrical with your face. So you start with the inside here with the bridge of your nose. Then to figure out where you want to put your arch, you measure from bridge of your nose through the center of your eye up. So where this pencil stops here is where my arch is going to have its peak. For the tail of your brow, you go from the outside of your nose to the outside of your eye to the edge of your eyebrow. And as you can see, that's pretty much the shape of my eyebrow. And it's like that because I keep them plucked that way so that they don't get too out of hand. But I do have a few little hairs here. My tail's a little too thick, but you won't be able to see any of that once I fill it in. So I'm going to start in the front and I'm going to start with the lighter powder. So again, and I'm just, I need to have a mirror in front of me to do this. You start here. So I know that my brow needs to start and I'm using the lighter powder. If you put too much, you can always go through and brush it out to make it lighter. You want to have a gradient with your eyebrow. So the middle part here starts light and then it goes darker as it goes towards the tail. We're not doing Sharpie brows. We're not doing block brows. You're not gonna be walking around looking like, huh? Or as my friend said to me once, brow you doing? We're not doing it. You don't want the brows to be the center of attention for your face. This is just to help frame your face and to accent your eyes. That is it. So again, here is where it needs to start. I'm starting off with a lighter powder and I'm now going underneath just to get the shape that I want for the front. And as you can see, that's already making a big difference with my eyebrow. So you don't have to do anything crazy. Powder is a very natural look. You just have to make sure you don't go too dark. So again, staying underneath just to give it a little bit of shape. And then I'm coming back in and filling in the middle. And then as I'm getting towards the end, I'm going in with this darker powder to help fill in the tail. Get a little closer so you guys can see what my hairs look like. I'm taking the darker powder and I start just drawing right about midway through the end of the tail and laying down the outline of how I want it to finish. Now again, here is where my arch is going to be. And right now I'm just going to comb through the front. So you can see already that's lightening up some. We have a nice little gradient going and I'm combing my brows in the direction I want them to go. When I get to the part with the arch, I start combing downwards because I want it to go into my tail. So going back with the dark powder, now I'm going to outline what I want for the top. I've already placed where I want my arch. And as you see, I keep going back in and brushing to see what the final look looks like. And then I go in and fill anywhere else that I think might still look a little too sparse for my liking.
and that's it. My eyebrow is done. Now another product that I like to use, this is a brow gel. I use this because once I put my brows on, I don't want my hairs to just, over the day, your hair will want to go back in the direction that it grows. This is a gel that's gonna help hold them in place. So you're literally just combing this through to hold them where you've drawn them and filled it in so they don't start drooping as the day wears on. You can get this, this is an NYX brand. Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills makes one. There are also tinted brow gels. This one here is by NYX and it's actually a dark brown. I'll show you what it can do if I fill my brows in with it. If you have really thick brows already and you just want to be able to fill them in some to give them some color, you can use this by itself. It literally looks like a mascara and you just take it and you comb in your brows. You notice how that makes the front a little bit darker? So if you already have a brow that looks like it has a good shape and you just wanna help fill it in some, this is another great option. So that's it for powder, and now we're gonna move on to pencil. So here's the next look. This is my eyebrow filled in with a brow pencil. As you can see, there is more precise definition with this one. I did not use a concealer to clean it up. This is strictly just me following the shape of my eyebrow with the pencil and using small strokes to fill it in and make sure that it's neat. So now I'm going to show you how I did this on the other eye. I'm taking the Benefit Precisely My Brow and I have the shade number five. I do have to be careful with this because if I push too hard and use a heavy hand, my brows will come out too dark. So I just try to make sure that I'm using light strokes and that I take my time with it because I can always go back in and make it darker but once it's already really dark you're probably going to have to start over or just keep trying to comb it through until it softens so just like i did with the powder comb my brows up and then i start underneath and i'm just drawing in the shape we're using the same rule of thumb as far as how to figure out the shape and definition I'm drawing out where I want the bottom to be. And as you can see, my hairs are a bit long and they grow in this direction. So that's why I'm following the pencil in the same direction. So once I do this part, I always go back and I start working on the top. In the front, I like to have my brows look a little bushy, not a lot, just you know to help with the gradient, but I like the hairs to look like they're sticking up more versus having an arched start of my brow. So, so I mark off where I want it to start and just light strokes to help have that gradient effect. But then in the front, I do my strokes upward, downwards, whatever. And again, I'm using a really, really light hand to make sure I don't go overboard with this. And I'm trying to make sure that it's lined up here. And that's the front. And I'll go back and comb that through. So now working on my arch. which again, we want center of the eye, so arch about here. And then I start bringing it downwards.
I mean, really, guys, look how fast that was. Your brows are never going to be identical. They shouldn't be. They should, as everyone says, they should look like sisters, not twins. And we don't want one way up here and the other one down here and they're walking around looking like distant cousins. So, so just try to follow the rule of thumb to help you get the same shape on both sides. But I'm happy with how this looks. It is a little more defined and a little darker than using the powder. And it's also going to last longer. It's gonna stay on longer. I always come back in and again, comb my brows through with the gel. And there you have it. Now we'll move on to pomade. And last but not least, we have the gel brow pomade on this eyebrow. Now you may look at my eyebrows and say, Barbara, I don't even see that much of a difference. But for me, especially applying it, I feel like I have to be a little more careful with this product because it is very easy to apply too much. So I don't use this if I'm in a rush. I only use it like I said before, if I wanna make sure my brows are gonna last the whole day, if I'm gonna be outside, I'm gonna be sweating, if I think my skin's gonna be really oily, or if I'm doing a full glam look and I want to make sure my brows are really defined. Once I am done doing this eyebrow, I will also show you how to clean up around your brows if you make a mistake or if you have hair that you need to cover. So just like I did in the other videos, I'm going to start with combing my brows upwards. Now, the important thing to remember with this pomade, when you go into the gel, this one I've had for a while, so it's hardened a little bit, but a lot of times when you first get them, they're really emollient and a lot can get on your brush. One thing you can do is when you dip your brush in, take the top and just wipe off some of the excess to make sure you don't have too much. I'm not going to have that problem with this one because like I said, it's dried out some, but I do have another one that I travel with that I have to be careful with. So I'm starting just like I did on the others and I am going to comb my brows up and then start at the bottom. And I mean, I'm barely pushing guys and look how dark that is. So that's why I say you have to be careful with this product. None of the other products were this dark underlining and I barely am touching the brush to my face. So I start underlining and then I use what's left on the brush to kind of fill in. And then I come to the front of my eyebrow because I don't want to have a lot of product on the brush when I'm doing this part because again, we want that gradient effect. So I come here to the front and I mark off about where I want the top to be and then same strokes yes this looks a little harsh and a little blocky but i'm going to fix it but notice i haven't even dipped back into the container yet and i'm still going strong this stuff does not play So now combing in the front to help kind of fade it a little bit. Comparing back and forth to see what looks different. Sorry guys, I'm holding a handheld mirror because I wanna make sure I can see what I'm doing. I am dipping back in right now. And I'm going to draw the middle part of my tail and then build around that. How sharp and nice that is. And again, this is a product that I got probably from Walmart or CVS, not expensive at all, under 10 bucks. If you wanna go with the more high-end version, 
You can, but it'll run you $20 or more. I really don't go through a long drastic process to do my eyebrows and I get a lot of compliments on how natural they look, but it's because I'm not trying to overdo it or create a shape that's not there. And now looking at the differences, I feel like this brow is a little thicker than this one. Easy fix, just go back. See? Nothing to it. I'm sorry if I keep putting this mirror in front of the camera, Lord. Okay, so now I have a concealer that is also in a pot. This is by the brand NARS. Sorry, have that upside down. This is one shade lighter than my skin tone. I don't like to have like a really drastic outline around my brows and I don't like this part of my face to be super highlighted. I have a big forehead, we're not drawing attention to it. So I don't go that much darker and I'm using this flat brush, it's a synthetic brush and I have a little bit of the product on the end and I'm just going to wipe it off and I'm going to start carving out my brow. Now, as you can see on this one, there's a little bit under here that doesn't look quite neat. And that's actually hair that's growing back in. So I just want to clean that up to make it look more snatched. So you take your concealer. And you just comb the rest down. I know y'all see that. You see the difference that made? I never do this, and I don't know why, because I always think mine are okay the way they are. But if you want to be able to have a really nice arch or you want to change the shape of your brow, using concealer will help. You can also go over the top if you want. But I don't feel like I have a lot to clean up, so this is more just to show you what it looks like if you decide to do this step. So now I feel like I need to go back just a little bit at the bottom and make this darker. There we go. But see guys, like it's it doesn't it's not going to always be perfect. And all you do is just take your time, you compare each brow, see what you think looks different, what needs to be fixed, and you go in and fix it. And that's it. So that's it for the tutorial. I hope that what I shared with you was informative and gave you options. If you feel like you'll be more comfortable trying one over the other, go with what you think feels best for you. Again, with the powders, you don't have to have a specific eyebrow powder. So if you have an eyeshadow palette at home that has a dark brown in it and it's a cooler tone, practice with that first to see if you like it. But you need to make sure that you have the right brush. Again, I got this from I don't even know where um, but elf makes a set of brushes a lot of times they'll come separate where it's just a brush with a spoolie and then just a brush with the eyebrow or this is also used for gel liner to do a wing liner so you don't have to specifically have a double ended I just like that because if I'm traveling I only need one brush versus two you guys felt that this video was helpful and that you learned something new 
Again, it doesn't have to be a whole process. Each of these probably took me definitely under 10 minutes, but maybe five minutes. As you can see from using all three products, I was able to achieve a nice natural looking brow. So you don't have to just think that there's only one right way to do it. There's no right way, there's no wrong way. It's your way. Whatever you feel comfortable doing and what you feel works best for you, that's what you need to do. So that's it for this video. I hope you found some useful information in what I shared with you today that you can implement into your routine. Remember, there's no wrong way, there's no right way. Just take your time and practice. I've done the thin brows, barely there brows, didn't fill them in. Having a defined brow helps to frame your face and also helps you to look a little younger. So don't be scared to try something new. Don't be scared to try a different shape. And remember, if your brows aren't tweezed or if you feel like there's some hair that you wanna cover, you can always go over it with concealer and it'll help clean everything up and make it look like your skin. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.